Hi nerdies, welcome to my new segment called Weekly BL Updates, wherein I collect different news and updates about the recent trending topics in the BL community within a week and share it to all of you. Please do note that some of this may be rumors and allegations while some are officially confirmed. So without further ado, let's start with the first one. Tiger, a Thai news website, released an article about a rumored popular BL couple who may be on the verge of falling apart. Included in the article is a silhouette of two actors. According to the article, the two have a very strong on-screen chemistry. However, speculation suggests they don't get along very well off-camera. Both also began pursuing solo projects. However, they can still be booked together, but there will be conditions. In the translated article, the first condition is if they will be in a project, they should be paid first. Second is if it's a light job, they won't take it. And if it's an important project, they would have to think about it. One example of it is when they got a relatively high offer for an event overseas. The event organizer requested a moment where the male lead presents a bouquet of flowers in order to create a memorable moment for the fans. However, when they asked the main lead, he declined by saying, no thanks, I prefer to stand out alone. Their fans were also quick to pick up the tension that's been building up between the two actors so they began to support them individually instead of supporting them as a couple. Please do take note that this is still a rumor from Madame Kung King, however, this made a lot of BL fans intrigue as who this BL couple might be. Some predictions from the fans were Pan Fu Wing, Mile and Apple, Min and Ping and many more. However, one should take note that this two rumored BL couple comes from a new company, meaning artists from Jimin TV, where a lot of BL pairings are under, may be excluded from the list. Meanwhile, some fans shared their thoughts about this news. What baffles me is the fact that this is shocking news, it shouldn't be. When people decide to go on a different path in their careers, that should be something that's celebrated and welcomed. It's also an indication of how messed up this whole CP structure is. Are we entering an era where people will understand that being paired as couple in a series doesn't mean you have to like your partner off screen? Are we? That fan service and FM where the CP appears lovey-dovey is part of the job. I praise for this for so long. Noel opens up about his sexuality. In an interview by Mirror Thailand, he was asked about his view about the gender diversity today, and he answered that he's glad that the world is more open these days. He also added that, I don't care if it's a man or woman, if makes my heart race, is my safe haven, and make me happy, I can be with them. I have experience, I've fallen in love with both genders. It's normal, I don't limit myself. Even adding that there are people who don't fully know themselves and think men should only like women, which isn't true. Because of this, he gained a lot of praises from his fans. So, so proud of you, Noel. Absolutely, be with whoever makes you feel happy and safe. I love that things are shifting in Thailand and these actors and actresses are feeling more comfortable sharing these things. He also revealed that his family is very supportive of him when it comes to his sexuality. I'm happy that my family is open about this. My father has said he doesn't care if I bring home a son-in-law or a daughter-in-law. As long as Noel is happy, he'll be happy. And it feels like one of those scenes in Bial series just came to life. It's good that he has an open-minded family. I'm happy for him. Family is always the safest nest for all children. Of course, there's also a question about him and Boss, which is his on-screen Bial partner. Like me and Boss, we are really friends, so I feel like we are just a couple in the work part, and we are close friends in real life. It is a comfort that that has been happening in the past. We may have some arguments, but deep down, we care about each other. It is a good relationship that has been happening. He also added that he feel like fans can ship them if they're still in their own space. But he's also clear that him and boss are close friends, and sometimes he likes to sneak in to see hashtag boss no moments, and finds it cute. The Sultriest 4 Minutes The Sultriest 4 Minutes is an auction event that is directed by Apo himself. The items being auctioned were hot and spicy photos of the cast of 4 minutes. Each of the cast have their individual shots and Jazz and Bible also have their shots together. But even before the event happened, it was faced by backlash from the fans because of Fu Ai's photos. According to the fans, Fu Ai's photos were so provocative and they bring up the issue about his age. If you can remember, there's also an issue about Fu Ai's NDC scenes before. Because even if he is already 18 years old, he's still a minor because the legal age in Thailand is 20. Even though he is already at the age of consent, 
Because of this, Bible made a statement regarding them removing Fu Ai's photos in the auction. So, uh, guys, for the, for the socialist four minutes, there won't be any more uh, photos of Fu Ai's anymore. So, we, we have listened to your feedback and uh, we have taken it into account. Uh, we want to let you know that before the photos were even put out, he had, we had consent from, from him himself already. And um, as he said before, it was the character of Hun Kla, and it was um, a way of portraying another version of the character. And so um, we felt that, or he felt that it was uh, a way to do charity. But if the feedback is like this, then that's okay. Uh, we won't have any photos of Fu uh, anymore. So uh, it was for it was a mutual agreement for everybody. So there wasn't any pressure or anything like that. It was all consensual. So you don't have to worry about that. And um, for the rest of us, you can still uh, auction off, and it's for a good cause, guys. It's for charity, and every single bot will go to charity. So yeah. After that issue, let's move on to the auction itself. Jess picture was sold at 90,000 baht or 2,700 US dollars, and we can clearly see the shock in their faces. Meanwhile, one memorable moment during the auction is when Jess bid for Bible's picture. Jess and Bible's picture, however, was sold at a staggering 102,000 Thai baht or equivalent to more than 3,000 US dollars. 100,000! And for everyone who is curious, this auction is a charity event and Beyond Cloud posted that the total amount that has been gathered is 608,000 Thai baht or equivalent to 18,250 US dollars. All of this proceeds will be donated to the Institute of HI Research and Innovation. Following this, at the end of their fan con, they revealed that there will be a season 2 for 4 minutes entitled 8 Hours, which will be aired by 2025 protest against love in the big city love in the big city is one of the most awaited korean bl series this year and evidence to that is the drama ranking in the top five most searched and talked about korean drama this month of october even before its release date however this good news comes with a negative effect as the trailer of the drama got removed in all the streaming platforms after the conservative korean groups file a complaint against it the writer himself park sang young expressed his frustration on social media, saying due to a flood of complaints directed at certain government departments, we were forced to remove the official trailer. The hateful behavior is something I can never get used to, no matter how often I encounter it. And it doesn't stop from there because they also want the Ministry of Culture to retract its support towards the drama because according to them, the government is funding dramas that manipulate, glorify, and normalize homosexuality. Another group of Koreans also gathered in front of CJ Entertainment, a company involved in producing Korean dramas, to demand for the cancellation of the BL series. Meanwhile, the fans also expressed their opinions on this topic with one saying, is the idealization of heterosexual relationships not even more problematic nowadays? The reality is that many crimes occur, but dramas continue to portray perfect heterosexual relationships. That seems more harmful to me. South Korea is doing everything wrong. They are very far behind compared to other countries. The biggest revenge is make this drama trend all over the world.
Love in the Big City will start airing on October 21st with all its eight episodes available to be watched all at once. It will be available to watch in 150 countries through Rakuten Viki. Meanwhile, release dates for Southeast Asia and Japan have not been confirmed yet.